Good Friday, my fucking ass. Bad Friday. I'm fucked Friday. Fuck the people in traffic who are going so slow. Fuck Ruth. Fuck the bitch at Starbucks who wouldn't give me my order. Sorry, excuse me. Fuck the cunt at Starbucks who wouldn't give me my order. Fuck the Archbishop of Los Angeles. Fuck the Catholic Church who thinks that they are no better than Jesus and that they don't have to forgive people even though they didn't do anything wrong and they think they did something wrong and Jesus said that you're not supposed to do that to people. Today, I, I have a little tradition where every Good Friday, because it's Good Friday is the day that Jesus was crucified and died. And so on Good Friday, the mass we do isn't normal mass. We do the stations of the cross where basically we, the middle schoolers perform a stupid, shitty rendition of the Passion of Christ, which is supposed to be the most beautiful story that's ever existed in the face of the planet. But we have these numbskulls doing it who make it, uh, who totally zap it of any uh, resonance. Um, and I keep telling them, stop letting the idiot middle schoolers do this. They're ruining it. If we got some actual professionals in here and we let me direct it, then it would be good. Um, so anyway, on Good Friday, I like to smoke a little weed before Mass, which is not a sin. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that's a sin, by the way. Um, and so... I, before Mass today, because I don't have to do anything on Good Friday Mass. They have they have other people doing the readings. All I have to say is, like, glory be to the whatever. Um, so I, you know, I have a little one-hitter in my glove box. So I put a little bit of the, put a sprinkle. It's legal in California. I sprinkled a little bit in my one-hitter. Took a toot. Glove box. Again. And I walk in, and I'm like, okay, you know, uh, so far so good. I'm very good at pretending not to be high. So I walk in, and um, and uh, that I fucking see Ruth is the sacristan today. A sacristan is basically a maid for the church because that's all women can be in the Catholic Church is maids. Um. For a reason, which you're about to find out in this story. Um, I can, she's looking at me with a uh, fucking... I can tell that she's trying to ruin my life based on her, the look on her face. Because I see it all the time. Because she... She's a miserable old woman. A miserable, shriveled up old woman. And she can't accept the fact that she ruined her own life by doing nothing with herself but being uh by uh, uh marrying a fucking alcoholic who hated her because she never thought once to question any th decision that she ever made and then when he died she had nothing so instead of accepting that she had ruined her own life and killing herself like she should have done sorry that was a little Sorry, that was too much. Instead of accepting that she um, was... Instead of accepting that maybe she should have made some better decisions in life, um, she decided to join the Catholic Church so that she could feel a semblance of control back. And she could convince herself that everything happens for a reason, which it doesn't. Um, so, uh, she uh, hates me because I'm everything she's not. A man, um, uh, free, independent, um, uh, and happy. That's probably the biggest thing. I'm actually happy. So, she... Every single thing I do isn't good enough for her. She's always got to stick her nose in my... Anyway. Mass goes fine. It ends. I go outside to shake all the goobers' hands and act like I care about them. Um, and I see from across the parking lot, Ruth is looking... <clears throat> Ruth is looking in the 
in my car. She's taking pictures of, she's got her phone out and she's taking pictures of my car. So I go over and I say, excuse me, that's my car. What are you doing? Get your, get your, stop filming my car. She doesn't even react to me. I walk over and I see that she's filming the glove box. I had left the, the one hitter in my glove box. And I don't even know how she knew what it was. So she must have some experience too. Because she, nobody would have known what that was. Unless they've smoked one before. Um, she probably knew from busting everybody else. Because she's a narc. She's taking pictures. She's, fil she's videoing. She turns the camera and starts videoing me. And I'm trying to tell her to sh shut off the camera. And fucking mind her own business. And get away from my car. Um, and I am praying that she didn't upload this video anywhere because if you saw me in that video, you would, it would definitely go viral. Um, because I really think that I may have overreacted and I sort of, everybody, I could see everybody looking at me. You know how sometimes you'll scream at somebody in public and you sort of like, you have an out of body experience and everything just kind of goes away. You know, and you're and and it's like a ringing in your ear, like, Beep. and then you come back and realize everybody within a half mile radius is staring at you, shocked. That's what happened. It happens to me all the time. So anyway, I say whatever. I get in my car. I push her out of the way. I get in my car, and she's like, "Ah, you, uh, you're you. She, he's trying to attack me. He's beating me up." I pushed her out of the way because she was in my way. I get in the car, start the car, and I drive back to the rectory, which was kind of stupid because it, yeah, the rectory is a block over, and you can see the rectory parking lot from where I was. And I have the only reason I had driven my car that distance was because I wanted to smoke weed when I it would have been shorter to walk. So I all I did was get in my car and go boop, get out of the car, go in the rectory. And I am so fucking wound up that I take a bunch of Xanax because I'm prescribed Xanax. And I'm, I'm trying to relax. I start watching Adventure Time. I love Adventure Time because it makes me feel relaxed. Um, and uh, I forget about it. Well, you know, Sal, sometimes something happens that you know is going to ruin your life. And then you think um, you, you try to live normally the rest of the day. And every once in a while, you kind of forget that it happened. But then you remember and you're like, mm, damn it. Uh, that's what was happening to me. But the Xannies are starting to kind of work. And so I'm like, hmm, you know, um, my phone rings and I see that it's an unknown number. So I pick it up and I say, go fuck yourself. Hang up. The unknown number calls back again. It's the Archbishop of Los Angeles. And I, he said to me, um, Father Dan, you need to, we've gotten multiple reports, which was a lie. I know there was just one. It was just Ruth. Nobody else has ever complained about me, anything I did. He says, uh, you, can you please come? We need to see you next, come in for, to our office next week because we need to discuss your conduct. I say, fuck you, discuss my conduct. Why don't we discuss your Pornhub search history? Um... I hope I didn't say that. I have, I that would have been good to say, but in theory, but I but that probably would not have helped my case. I'm a little worried that I I think I did say that. Fuck. Okay, well, you know what? Fine. If this is what's supposed to happen, then that's fine. If if my life is supposed to get ruined like this, fine. I don't care. Uh, I, I mean, I can just as easy do something else. What do I need the church for anyway? What have they ever done for me? You know who else, uh, nobody accepted and, uh, didn't do anything wrong, but everybody thought he did something wrong. And so they punished him for it and killed him. I rest my case. So. We'll see what happens, but. It's going to take a lot more than some old 
crone and a and uh fucking the, the goon squad to take me down <laughs> so we'll see what happens